So recently, YouTube announced YouTube Shorts audio sampling. Let's go. My name is Dean, YouTube Music Certified. I teach independent artists and musicians how to grow a fan base using video. YouTube Shorts, man, it's becoming my favorite thing to do. So I want to play a video clip from YouTube's own creator, Insider. I'm Lenny, a product specialist working on shorts, and today I want to talk to you about one of our most popular topics. You guessed it, it's shorts. In this video, we'll address our most frequently asked questions from our recent videos. First up, we've seen confusion about what exactly a short is. Shorts are videos that are 60 seconds or less in duration and are square or taller in aspect ratio. The best aspect ratio for a short is nine by 16. Horizontal videos do not get included in the shorts experience. Next up, you've probably heard about our new shorts creation tools. So what do we mean when we say that? There's a few things that are included in the Shorts creation tools. Primarily the Shorts camera for creation and recording. More recent additions to the Shorts tools include the ability to add text to your short, control when the text appears and disappears, and adjust the speed of your video as well as adding filters. You can also upload a video that is longer than 60 seconds and cut it down into a short with our tool and use the same editing features as if you shot it with our camera. We also have a music library, which includes millions of tracks that are free to use. Keep in mind that you can only use 15 seconds of audio from our library. If your video is longer than 15 seconds, then the audio will be added to the beginning of your video. We've also rolled out the ability to sample audio from shorts and videos across YouTube. We'll touch on that a little later on in the video. Now, who has access to shorts and shorts creation tools? Shorts can be viewed globally today. Anyone can upload a short through the normal upload process as long as the video is 60 seconds or less in duration and is square or taller in aspect ratio. Shorts creation tools have been available in US and India for some time, and we've recently started rolling out to 24 new countries. So you may be wondering, do you have to use the Shorts creation tools for your video to be included in the short shelf? The answer is no, but we recommend adding hashtag shorts to the title or description of the video as this helps our system get the maximum distribution of your short across YouTube. Additionally, we've made some improvements to the shorts feature to make it easier for you to post on your existing channel. A few changes include adding a short shelf to the bottom of all channel pages that have at least one eligible short. You can order the position of this shelf or remove it entirely. Based on feedback from creators, we've started to better separate where shorts appear versus your long form videos. We remove shorts from appearing in popular and uploads, but they can still be easily found anywhere that shorts are on YouTube. A few of these places are your channel page, the short shelf, and the shorts tab. And we're always adding more and more surfaces. Based on creator feedback, we do not send notifications for every short upload for subscribers who have hit the bell and shorts notifications do not count toward your daily bell limits. We're continuing to improve shorts notifications to ensure your shorts get sent to the viewers who want to watch them. Another question we get frequently is, do I need to create a new channel to host my shorts or should I keep them on my existing channel that has my long form videos on it? This is entirely up to you. We've seen creators who have started separate channels and others that have been posting to their existing one. We recommend that you think about the style of content that you plan to create for shorts and then ask yourself whether it fits with the entrance of the audience already watching the long form videos on your channel. For example, if you're a dance focused channel that plans to use shorts to highlight moments from your latest routine, it might make sense to centralize your efforts on a single channel. On the other hand, a food focused channel looking to use shorts to explore their knitting hobby might consider launching a second channel to house this new style of content. A big topic we've gotten questioned about is the ability to sample audio from shorts and videos across YouTube. We recently added this feature and wanna make sure that it's well understood, so please leave additional questions if you have them. So what does this feature actually mean? Audio from any eligible long form video on YouTube can be used to create a short and every short that's made with your video's audio will be attributed and linked back to your source video from the shorts pivot page as shown in the example here. 
This links back to your original video and provides a great opportunity for new audiences to discover and engage with your content in a new way. So how much of a video or shorts are creators able to sample? Viewers and creators are able to sample up to 15 seconds of audio from a short or video on YouTube. Now let's talk about some eligibility scenarios. There are instances where audio sampling is impossible. For example, if the source video has been opted out from audio sampling or if a video has claim on it. This leads me to my last point. What if you don't want your long form videos available for audio sampling? Based on your feedback, we have released the functionality to bulk opt out your videos from audio sampling in YouTube Studio. You can also opt out individual videos as well. It's not possible to opt out shorts from audio sampling. As always, we'll continue to keep the Creator Insider audience updated as we improve shorts. Make sure to leave your questions and comments below. From the creators of YouTube to YouTube creators, keep it real. There you have it. <laughs> Let me know what you think. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about YouTube short audio sampling. Are you going to do it? And are you creating shorts? I think you should really do it because short form content is like quick and easy, man. It's, it's a quick and a go or a snap and a go. And uh, that was corny. My name is Dean. <laughs> I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.